in today's lecture we will discuss the subtraction and uh, we will also learn that how we can subtract using uh, two's complements so before proceeding with this subtraction we know that uh, two's complement we get by taking first one's complement one's complement and to one's complement we add one and uh, this the way how we get uh, two's complement so one's complement first and then add one we get uh, two's complement and also we know that uh, in one's complement we just convert 1 into 0 and 0 into 1 so this is the actually procedure that we discussed in earlier classes also but just to have one uh, reminder of these things so suppose we have a subtraction of a minus b okay a minus b here a is actually the we know it is a minuend and b is the subtrahend okay so we can also write a minus b is equal to a plus minus b okay so we know that uh, negative numbers negative numbers are represented in two's complement form okay so i can write it as a plus minus b means negative number and negative number means two's complement of b means subtrahend now this is a plus how we get two's complement we get two's complement as a one's complement plus one so i can write it as a plus this is one's complement and this is one so actually jo subtraction hai that is also is performed by making use of addition so a plus two's complement of subtrahend is actually the subtraction using two's complement method so while we discuss about uh, subtraction using two's complement there are basically two methods first method is when minuend is greater than subtrahend okay it means when we subtract the smaller number from a large number okay for example 16 minus 7 wherein 16 and 7 are in decimal and the other way is when the minuend is now less than subtrahend subtrahend so it means that uh, subtraction of large number from smaller number for example 7 minus 16 so these are the two ways through which we can perform our subtraction using two's complement first is when minuend is greater than subtrahend this is the case and the second case is when the minuend is 
less than subtrahend and this is the case so now we will discuss all these two methods one by one so we can take it as methods now let us discuss the first method wherein the mean end is greater than a subtrahend for example consider two numbers 46 which is in decimal because base is 10 minus 29 okay so here mean end is 46 which is greater than the subtrahend so first of all we will write it as 46 plus minus 29 we can write it as 46 plus 2's complement of 29 means subtrahend so to continue with this first of all let us convert 46 into our uh, binary form so we will take a 8 bits group means we will consider one byte actually so we know that uh, the numbering is done 1 2 4 8 16 32 here we will get the number because this is 32 8 40 44 46 okay and these are not considered so total of 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we will take two zeros to make it a byte so this is done now we have to get the 2's complement of subtrahend means of 29 means positive number so 29 we can write it as a so 60, 16 plus 8 24 then 28 and then 29 so this is zero 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 okay now we are getting two's complement of a subtrahend so first of all write it into binary form this is also in binary form now take one's complement because uh, to get the two's complement we need to have the one's complement just convert zero to one so it comes out to be 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 now 2's complement we know that just add a plus 1 here so we will get 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 so this is the 2's complement of a subtrahend now the next step is we know that 46 plus minus 29 so 46 we will write it as 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 2's complement is here 1 1 1 triple 0 and 1 1 so we will add so this comes out to be 1, 1 plus 1, 0, 1 carry, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 0, 1, okay. So this comes out to be 1 plus 1, 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1 and here 1 carry is there. So the number is now this. Carry is a actually we get the carry here so now the rule is if there is carry then just discard it discard it and the result is a positive the result is a 
positive. So now the number becomes plus. We will convert this binary number into decimal. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So 16 plus 1, 17. So this is the result of this subtraction and we will check it also 46 minus 19 is 17. So this was 46 which is actually our mean end and this is 2's complement. 2's complement of subtrahend. Okay. And we just add it and if there is one carry then discard it and the result is positive and you can write equivalent uh, decimal number corresponding to this binary number which comes out to be 17. So this is the way how the subtraction is performed using a first method. Now second method is when mean end is less than subtrahend because in first case we discussed that when mean end was greater than subtrahend. Now the mean end is less than subtrahend. Say for example 29 minus 46. So binary equivalent of 29 which is in decimal is 00011101. This is the weight of each digit. So 16 plus 8, 24 plus 4, 28 plus 129. Now the binary equivalent of 46 is uh, this one. So we need to get the 2's complement of subtrahend means uh, plus 46. Okay. Because this can be written as 29 plus minus 46 and uh, so we need to get the 2's complement of uh, subtrahend. So this is the 1's complement of uh, 46 and then we are adding 1 to get uh, 2's complement. So this is 2's complement. Now we will add this is 29. This is 2's complement of uh, 46. So while we add it we get it as a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0, 1 carry, 1, 1 and 1. So this is the method how we can now perform. Now see that there is no carry. So what is the rule actually? Now the rule is if there is no carry because here we are getting no carry. So if there is no carry it means the sign will be negative so negative sign okay negative sign so negative sign will come and we need to get the this is first thing and the second thing is that we need to get again the two's complement of the result so far we got and uh, this is the way how it is actually in its uh, pure form. So minus 1 now get the 2's complement of this number the result this result 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 so add 1 to get the 2's complement 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 Okay, so the number becomes uh, this is equal to minus. So this is 1, 4, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 minus 17. So this is the result. And we can also check it here that uh, 29 minus 46. This is the number. And when we perform the subtraction, we get uh, minus 17. So the result is. Now the second uh, sub step of this can be B. Now this can also be the case that 26 minus minus 15. So this is also very simple. Just write 26 as such in binary form 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. This is 26. Uh, 
in binary form because all these numbers are in decimal so now this is minus 15 so in first step we need to get its first of all two's complement because the number is in negative and we discussed in previous classes also that negative numbers can also be represented in computer systems in two's complement form and the others are sine magnitude form one's complement form but we are making use of two's complement form to store the negative numbers so 15 comes out to be we know 1 1 1 this is 15 0 0 0 0 we will discuss here so this comes out to be 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 and we will add 1 so it comes 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 and 1 ok so now the result becomes this number minus now this number 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 again now again we have to get its uh, two's complement of a subtrahend now again because this is also again in a negative number so again we need to get its uh, two's complement so its two's complement will be 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 plus 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 so all done with two's complement now this is 26 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 26 now this is the whole number this one we replace all this number with the, this number which is actually 4 times 0 and 4 times 1's now we will add 1, 1 plus 1, 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, and 0, 0. So this is the result because there is no carry and we know that if there is no carry then the number is positive. So the number is positive and uh, we will now check it that what is this uh, binary number is in uh, equivalent to decimal form. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So, 40, 41. So, this is 41. So, this is the result. Now, check it. This is 26 minus minus 15. So, we know that this is uh, eventually equal to minus minus plus is equal to 51. And this is 41. So, the result also matches. So, this is the way how we can perform the subtraction using two's complements method the only thing that you are required to keep in mind is that whatever the negative number is get its subtrahend get its two's complement and once we get the two's complement of subtrahend just add this to the menu end and see if there is carry or not if there is a no carry then obviously the first method that we discussed here means if there is carry then discard it and the result is positive and uh, here the first case that uh, if there is no carry then we put a negative sign and we get the two's complement of this result that we get in uh, we can say that uh, in first step of result 1 and finally this is the result thanks for watching